first I, I, I click in the button and then I call initialize page flow here in the initialize page flow I create an instance an instance of page flow start and I, I say to the instance run then it comes to my workflow here so the initial state the first thing set the next state in order created I do the following I call the workflow executes my call external method that calls this method named redirect this method is implemented here in code in my page flow serves here in the redirect method I make a response dot redirect pass my address and the address is defined right here order created dot spx if I change here I will put two now we have we will have an error because I don't have order created two let's try see order created two because I don't have this resource okay so let's continue developing our solution so now we have executed the first step in the workflow now you're gonna create the, the next page but now we have an event that the order created waits for the handle external event activity okay so now we have to invoke this event in our web form to develop it in a better architect architecture we are gonna create a base page base page and it inherits from system web we page and now we have two I have a one property here public it's public um, I workflow ID I have a get and a set my get return new giddy session let me just check the name here workflow ID okay in the set session add dot add workflow ID value so now I will have a property and I will change my default my nah, no I will, I will live like that default and now we will have a method called protected voiding next page it will receive a string pattern and now this method will be the responsible for invoking my uh, cha page change page method that is implemented in our page flow service so let's implement this method so first in this method I will retrieve my page flow source and I will do it I will retrieve it from the runtime now 
Now I will invoke my change page and I'll pass the param and the workflow ID. Okay. Oh. Now it's done. Now this method will be the responsible for invoking the next page that my workflow will call. So now we can implement our order created page. So now in my order created page I will do something. I will change. Now it's mu it must inherit from base page. And I will I'll go to the designer and I will add a button. The text will be select payment type. I'll click twice and I'll do like next page. And I don't I won't I don't have any param here, so I'll pass a string empty. Just like that. Now we can test our uh invoking the method. Um, just one thing before before testing our our methods I will create the next page that is the payment type. Okay. I won't do anything. And I forgot one thing here. We used our manual scheduler so we have to call with here to uh, workflow runtime wrapper runtime get service manual workflow scheduler service I I must call the runtime method because remember using the the manual scheduler I always have to explicitly tell when the workflow must run so now we can test our method. I will start from scratch, stretch, create your order, just call the redirect, pass the URL, order created. Now I will click here and I will invoke the change page. Let me put a breakpoint here, just a minute, here. Select payment type. I will call the next page. Next page is called the param called the event and now uh, the workflow called the redirect method pass my new URL that is payment type just run and I'm here in my new page so now let's implement this page the difference in this payment type page is that I will pass a param to the workflow and I have a decision there and based in the decision of the workflow the, I will redirect to the next page. So let's do it now. So now we finish this lesson. The next, le the next lesson is the last lesson of this series, uh, and then we are gonna finish our implementation of the PageFlow solution. Goodbye. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.